search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 has been more than six days since any pings have been detected in the search area. Those pings, if they came from the plane's black boxes, might have been the best way to find the missing jet. Now the Australian searchers have turned to a robot submarine. Andy Saputra is live in Perth with the latest. Andy? That's right, Mike. We have just received an update from the Joint Agency Coordination Center. They've said that they've deployed the Bluefin 21 late last night, and uh, they've come up that uh, the Bluefin 21 has to be forced to come to the surface uh, after six hours of operation under the sea because it has re reached its depth limit of 4.5 kilometers. Uh, so this means that the Bluefin 21 that's supposed to be in operation for 16 hours scouring the seabed, uh, it, it has been cut short. They're downloading the data now and they're, they're going to try to figure out why this happened and if, uh, if and when they finish doing that, they'll probably deploy it again uh, in, uh, later on today if weather permits. So this new phase of the surge means that uh, uh, this is to be expected because this new phase of the surge uh, will mean that it is going to be a slow and arduous process. This Bluefin 21 moves around six times slower than the pinger locator that they've been dragging around for five weeks now. And um, it, it, with the search area still, uh, uh, as, as you mentioned there, the only lead they have is the ping locators. Uh, and it, it doesn't necessarily have, uh, have uh, narrowed down the search area into into a small enough area for the and that's and, uh, far worry now, uh, especially if the have died out. There is a oil slick area. Is there more you can tell us about that? That's right. And yesterday in a press co coordinator, chief coordinator and uh, doing search uh, around where they detect the um, found oil slick. And they, they've taken two liters of that and they're taken back to the laboratorium and they're going to pursue that. They're going to see if it comes from an aeroplane. Uh, we spoke to an expert here and they've said that uh, it's highly unlikely that it can determine that this comes from, from a certain plane, like an MH370, because uh, they're all using an aviation standard. But, you know, at least it is something that they can go on with, because, frankly, uh, right, right now, all they have to go on is that four pings that, that's been gone for six days now. Mm -hmm. Andy Saputra, live for us in Perth. Thanks so much.